The High Priestess Reverse shows that there could be some breakdown in the concept of interacting or communicating with the inner being, the inner seer within you. Here, the card can show that there's hidden agendas or the need to listen to the inner voice or that you're not listening to the inner voice. Um, it shows that there's some dissidence there, that you've tuned it out, you've put up a wall, you're not uh, allowing what is that inner wisdom to come through. Here, it could be that uh, you've given up on the power of the subconscious or that you're no longer working with the subconscious. You don't want to. It's all about you, what you want, regardless of what the laws are associated with the situation. There may be fear here or the lack of understanding um, on how things really play out, how it is that things manifest in life. So look back at the magician. Um, and see how the magician is where you create the desires and you allow life to happen. This one shows that there's you're out of alignment with what you know that knowledge is. You know what the inner purpose is. You know versus what you want. And so here, uh, this can this card can bring up the the more uh, bad aspects or the more negative aspects of cancer, which would be defensive, moody, pessimistic, suspicious, over emotional, complainer, somebody that turns away from something, puts up their guard on something. So here, it's basically being uh, too sensitive with your emotions, putting up walls with regards to the emotions, um, finding a way to uh, skirt the matter. Uh, you don't want to face up to it. The It, it could be that um, it's simply overpowering to you or you want to retreat, you want to collapse in, you want to go hide, you want to escape. The escapism would be in this. You'd want to go find some way to camouflage yourself so you can't be seen. Here you want to get in touch with the secrets. You want to be able to find the sacred trust. You could have a situation where you've spilled the beans about something, that you've gossiped about something, that you you let your tongue run, you let you let somebody else speak through you, not from your own heart, but just simply from what your environment says or what things are going on around you. So this one would be basically, we want to be able to write this card. We want to be able to reestablish trust. And the trust is between your experiences and yourself. It is finding the inner trust. It's bringing you together with your own desires. It's bringing you together with your own thoughts. It's having you align to your own wisdom. Bringing this card upright is going to show that it's time to start listening. You need to be able to listen to your inner self and not deny that you know that the situation is not going to work out. If you're doing something you know it's not going to work out, it's not turning away from that. It's not putting up a wall to that, but it's simply going back to that and saying, okay, I surrender to that. I'm going to allow my higher self to drive me forward and start listening to your wisdom, the wisdom that you've already gained, the wisdom that you have. Listen to that and this card will come up right for you. I would love your support. I'm in the process of working to get my deck on Amazon or up in the marketplace. I need to raise enough money to print out a thousand copies of this, of this deck. And so I'm raising money. So I'm looking for donations for 20 to $25 for getting on the list of people to receive that first printing of the deck. On my website, I have a donate button and I have a Litecoin address. What I'm going to do is any donations that come in, I'm going to move those into Litecoin so I can save there so that when I raise enough, I'm going to be able to take them to print. I totally appreciate your support. I hope to be able to send you a deck before too long.